Hey everyone, welcome back to the Tech Neuron Tech Channel. And in this video, I'm going to be giving you a complete overview and review of the Toshiba CB35A3120 Chromebook made by Toshiba. So let's get right to it. So, in this first part of the video, I'm going to be giving you specs. So it kind of gives you a benchmark of what you should be looking at if you're going to buy this computer. And it's usually the most interesting uh, part about a computer. So in the second part of the video, I'll give you my full review. All right. So it's around a mid-sized laptop, as you can kind of see. And it has a 13.3 inch LED backlit screen. Let me just turn it on. Um, it weighs around three pounds and it has a 1366 by 768 resolution screen which is great for the price and great for the size of the screen uh, obviously it isn't full HD but it's great nonetheless it has a full-sized chiclet style keyboard very tactile I like it a lot um, and it boots really quickly due to the um, uh, 16 gigabyte SSD so I just shut it off I'll turn it on for you guys so you can see that There we go. As you can see, it's turning on. And it's done in less than five seconds. That's just amazing. Um, and then on the side, there is a headphone jack, two USB 3.0 ports, a H an HDMI port. Then on the other side, there is a lock, a charging port, and an SD card port. And the card slot accepts SDXC cards and SDHC cards. And as I said, it has a 16 gigabyte SSD and it comes with 100 gigs of Google Drive storage if you don't like writing um, on the device itself so you can uh, write on the cloud uh, with Google Drive. Um, it has a four cell lithium ion battery and the processor is an Intel Celeron uh, processor, and it's clocked at 1.4 gigahertz, so it's it's pretty fast. Um, it has two gigs of DDR3L RAM, and it has no optical drive, so you can't load um, any disks on to your Toshiba Chromebook. Um, and it has Bluetooth 4.0, and it's obviously running Chrome OS. So that was the spec part of the video. I'll see you in the actual review. See you in a second. Best thing and the worst thing about this laptop is how connected it is. For example, you've got everything a connected business person would want. Google Docs, Chrome, YouTube, Gmail, Slides, Sheets. But too bad you have to be connected to the internet to use it. Hardly useful for those on airlines and those with no time to set up fiddly offline modes. This is really inconvenient for the typical traveler. But you might say it's worth trolling the Google Chrome store to find an offline document reader writer. But the truth is, it isn't. With this Chromebook, the average user will be someone whose main use is typing while traveling, due to its sleek and easily packable form factor. In this case, a throwaway document reader writer is hardly worth your time. I'm mainly pointing out the uh, app Google Keep, which is an offline uh, note taker. But let's not think about the software right now. What's the computer like? Does it perform well? The answer is yes. The 16 gigabyte SSD ensures a snappy response from all parts of the Chromebook, from the powering on to the shutting off. The computer is really sturdy and can handle a few bumps, even though it is made out of plastic. Definitely worth your while if you're a clumsy type of person like me. But uh, the keyboard and the screen are the main features of this device, and they do not disappoint. The keyboard has a few quirks, including a search button and replacements for the function keys. It's actually really easy to get used to. Uh, it's actually quite pleasurable to type on, actually. You've got a nice click, the keyboard is very sturdy. Now to the trackpad. Uh, it's actually very, very responsive, and it supports many scroll movements, but it feels like it might break with continued use, and I really don't like that in a trackpad. And if you've seen my previous uh, Toshiba satellite review, you notice that the uh, keyboard on that Toshiba satellite is also very uh, delicate feeling. And it may have something to do with Toshiba or just the way most trackpads feel. 
but who am I to judge? Also, the front-facing camera is nothing to speak of, and I really don't blame Google or Toshiba because no built-in cameras are that awesome. Um, and on Chrome OS as a whole, uh, it's actually not that different from Mac or Windows and is easily learned. Over here, you would have a replacement start button where you keep your apps, and it's most apps and games on the Google Chrome Store themselves are very solid, and the Flash Player is not that bad at all. So you can play many online games with ease. Obviously, as with all Chromebooks, it can't download and run .exe files. Well, actually, it can download .exe files, but to run them, you have to put it on a flash drive and then put it, run it on another computer. Um, but that's a pretty big downside. But it can download and view documents and media. And this Chromebook could definitely be a replacement Ultrabook because of that. So in this conclusion, here are the pros and cons. The pros are... It has an SSD, a very sturdy keyboard that's great for typing on, expandable storage using an SD card slot, uh, up to 64 gigabytes, a uh, solid Chrome store, so there's many games and apps that can be run um, on the device. There's quite a few, quite a selection. Uh, you can download media in your documents. It's very affordable, between $200 and $300. It has a very responsive trackpad. And the cons. Almost everything runs online. So your Google Docs, your spreadsheets, they won't work unless you go through a very tedious offline process uh, to make it available offline. And even then, there are many downsides to editing offline. Uh, next, there's only a 16 gigabyte SSD. So you'll have to buy an SD card for expandable storage to put your work on. And that can get pretty pi pricey depending on uh, the size of the SD card that you get. Uh, third, you can't run .exe files, so you can't download files and run them on your Chromebook. Um, only 9 hours battery life. You know, generally this is a gripe for most computers, but I always put it in because most computers don't have very good battery life. Uh, but it's a very delicate feeling trackpad, and it feels like it could break at any time. Uh, and the view angles are not that good uh, if you tilt it to one side or the other, and the camera's not too good. But go ahead, try it out. You might be surprised with what you find, for the good or for the worse. Thank you for watching my complete review and overview of the Toshiba Chromebook. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, I'll see you in my next video.